Okay, I just have to take this and I'll, I'm going to be very fast with it because of those who claim not to see the one I did on on laptop very well. So this is where we actually stopped the last time. So now we want to move into body. So everything that will be showing on our web page will fall in between the body tags. Are you getting it now? So there are going to be elements under the body in, uh, in between the body tags. Okay, so the first one we want to learn is <coughs> heading. So we are starting with H1, which is the most important of all headings. Okay, so this is a heading. Okay, let me save it then. Play it. So this is it. Here. This is a heading. Okay. Now we can. I want to show you different sizes of headings that we can have. So they are like six. So I'm just copying and paste so that it will be very fast. So let me just copy and paste everything. So I need six. Coming. One, two, three. okay. Now it's six. So now the next thing I want to do is to just um edit this. So this is supposed to have forward slash. So this one will be H two. H2 and this one two H2. This H3 and this one two H3. H4. H5. H5. H6. Oh, H5, H5, then H6. H6. So now I'm going to save and refresh, and you're going to see <coughs> the different sizes of headings that we can have. So save, then come to browser. Now, now you can see it. So this is the most important here, and this is the least important. Okay, so after headings, we want to quickly learn paragraph. So when it is not an heading, then your text will be paragraph. So that is usually with P tag. This is a paragraph. This is a paragraph. So let's save it and view it here. So it's as simple as this. Then uh, as I've said, if you actually listen, it seems I said it in the last lesson that we also have some tags that we call they, they usually contain empty elements. They have nothing like opening or closing tags. It's only one tag. So that's the example of what we are going to have now. So example is horizontal rule, HR. Then you close it. So it, it does. You see that it does not generate any closing tags. So if there is closing tag, it should have generated it itself. So if you save this, let's see what will come up. Can you see that this line is as a result of the horizontal rule that is there? There are many of them, but we are going to cover them in the next lesson, inshallah. 
Right, thank you for your time. See you in the next class.